Hey everybody, poor man's chemist here. So I bought two grams of what was supposed to be 99.9% .9 pure lutetium from a vendor on eBay called Luciteria. Um, I had heard other people say that they had had issues with this vendor in the past, but up until now, I never really had, at least none that I, you know, I've known about. But I took this two grams of what was supposed to be 99.9% .9 lutetium and tried to dissolve it in hydrochloric acid. And there is this residue that is left over that it will not dissolve in hydrochloric acid, not dilute, not concentrated, not room temperature, not hot. The shit is absolutely fucking impervious to hydrochloric acid. Now, 0.1% of two grams is two milligrams. Now I ask you, does this look like two milligrams of shit? Mind you, you see those pictures of like two milligrams of fentanyl, and that's all made from light elements. And, I mean, it's about the size of the head of a, you know, the, the lead on a fucking pencil. This is way fucking more than two milligrams. Um, I mean, even if I'm being generous, I mean, the only thing I could think of that's the lightest thing possible that, so far as I know, won't dissolve in hydrochloric acid would be like elemental boron. But even if that was fucking boron, that's way more than two milligrams of it. And the color is a little odd. Now that, I, I can't say anything definitive about that. The solution kind of has a bit of a yellowish tinge. Now, but the HCL is in excess, so we can't really say anything too conclusively from that. Although if it was samarium, I, I, you know, I know that has a much more strong yellowish color. But something, you know, else like, I don't know, yttrium, gadolinium, I think terbium, ytterbium, would all produce a solution that would more or less look like this. Um, I mean, it could be anything. I, if I can't trust the purity, then how can I trust the identity of this stuff, right? And when I contacted the vendor about this, and I'm like, hey... You know, I just tried to dissolve what's supposed to be two grams of lutetium and HCl, and this is what I'm getting out of it. There's like a ton of residue here that's just impervious to HCl. Like, this is not lutetium. The guy comes back with this, oh, well, you know, you can't say that. You know, you need x-ray fluorescence in, in order to be able to tell what element it is. And I'm like, okay... So this guy's trying to gaslight me on how chemistry works. So I come back with him, I'm like, look, man, lutetium dissolves in HCl freely. Some part of this dissolved freely in HCl, but there is some shit in here that is absolutely fucking impervious to hydrochloric acid. What is this stuff? You know, it's supposed to be 99.9% .9 pure. I've never had it, you know, if I've ever got, had a problem with something I bought from a vendor on eBay, I just contact them and they take care of it. Um, but not this guy. He wanted to argue with me about it. And I'm like, well, look, dude, I do a chemistry YouTube channel. My audience knows that I bought lutetium from you. I'm supposed to be doing a video on the group three elements in their chemistry. I got to tell these people something. And his response was basically along the lines of, you know, okay, if you're going to make a fool out of yourself, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll grab the popcorn and by the way, don't just put it on YouTube, put it on Reddit, put it everywhere. As if I would use Reddit. Fucking A. <laughs> Reddit. Why don't I put it on Facebook there too there, Boomer? My God. Um, so anyway, okay. I, 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 as I told this dude, look, the weight cannot, or the, the purity rather, cannot be right. It's clearly not right. This shit will not dissolve in HCL. This is not what this is. You know, I'm, I'm, I am absolutely sure of this. And he comes back a little while later. And I guess that he took a look at my channel. And he goes, oh, I looked at your channel, you know, you seem like you're a decent guy, you know, blah, 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 and starts giving me this line of bullshit. And, um, I came back with him, I'm like, look, man, that ship has sailed. 
I, you know, you're you're not giving me the, the thing that I want to hear either. Yes, I'm sending you your lutetium or I'm giving you your money back. Um, because, you know, what I sent you was bullshit. I, I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> God damn, man. So you know, I told him, you know, I'm like, get your popcorn. It's because I'm going to let people know. I'm not going to sit by and let, you know, some ass clown rip off my people. And I know that, you know, there are people in my audience that buy these element samples. Now, when I was lamenting about this on the community section on YouTube, I'm like, you know, God damn it, I miss JD Chemist. He's not on eBay anymore. I'm like, God, that motherfucker always did me right. More than four years of dealing with that guy. He only made a mistake one time where he mixed up neodymium and praseodymium. I sent him some pictures. I'm like, whoa, hey, this shit is green. It's supposed to be purple. He immediately sent me the right stuff and got himself a loyal customer. Then, I mean, so much stuff on this channel has been made using chems from JD Chemist. That, I mean, it's just ridiculous. And as I found out, he is still in business, just not on eBay or Etsy, apparently. You've got to go to his website, which I will link in the description. This guy, I know you can trust, okay? I will stake my reputation on it. I have done business with this dude for over four years. Everything he sends me is legit, right? And you guys know me. You know I'm going to know, case in point, if it isn't. I'm going to figure it out eventually, man, when it starts not doing the shit it's supposed to be doing. So, um, yeah, I will wholeheartedly recommend, you know, if you want to get some element samples that will be what it says they are, go to that website, get your stuff from him. JD is a good guy. Um, you know, I mean... When he was on eBay, I, I mean, I would message him back and forth. He just seems like a real stand-up dude. You know, he's always stood by his products, and he's always done me right. Unlike this ass clown. I mean, honestly, I'd send you people to Backyard Science 2000 before I'd send you to Luciteria. At least Backyard Science 2000. I will give him this. His stuff is always, you know, high quality. I will grant him that much. His cams are always high quality. But, you know, go to JD, people. JD's better. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, watch out for this seller, guys. I mean, I don't want to go so far as to call this a scam or a con, but this just puts me in mind of the, the classic con where, you know, you send people out, you know, some bullshit and you know that very few people will go through all the rigmarole of, you know, doing what's needed to get their money back. And so at the end of the day, even though people can know they've, they've been basically ripped off, you know, all you got to do is worry about those few people that will come out of the woodwork and actually go through all the shit and all the hoops you make them jump through in order to get their money back. Usually you do it for a small amount of money. Now, I mean... I don't know. If that's what's going on, this dude clearly forgot one part of it. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, you're never going to convince me that this is 99.9% .9 Letitium. This is a joke is what this is. So, yeah, avoid this vendor, guy. Avoid other unscrupulous vendors. If something ain't right, man, something ain't right. And let us know about it, for fuck's sake, so that, you know, I don't, we don't... We don't waste our money and our time on these fools who, you know, want to just rip us off. So, till the next one, you guys. I see you later.